friends i am dr vinay chauhan i am a practicing neurologist at leelawati hospital i shall be talking on known as giyabare syndrome uh, it's also known as aidp so giyabare syndrome the definition is it causes weakness of the arms legs and it is due to inflammation and or swelling or involvement of the nerves it can happen in any age group and it can involve Uh, males females and kids as well uh, the symptoms basically weakness which is gradually progressive the weakness can start in the legs and it can ascend upwards or it can start on the face and descend downward it can involve arm and leg muscles it can involve the facial muscle it can involve the eye muscles the swallowing muscles and the respiratory muscles as well usually the disease is progressive up to 3 to 4 weeks the mechanism basically it's supposed to be a para infectious involvement that means infection has taken place earlier it can be gastrointestinal infection it can be chest infection post covid post hiv after 8 10 days of this infection you have the illness presenting as weakness and the mechanism is probably antibodies formed to that infection cross reacts with the nerves causing inflammation and swelling of the nerve and a resultant weakness now there are investigations which can pick up the disease in the early stage especially the emg now conduction csf and certain blood tests picks up the disease in the early stage and of course clinically you can make out that this is a giyabare syndrome some of these have seasonal variation like we see it very frequently at the onset of monsoon or onset of summer season where the infection are common gastrointestinal infection chest infection respiratory infections are common it can be also seen sometimes post vaccine you know like you've taken a vaccine after 10 15 days you can develop a giyabare syndrome now if picked up early it is a highly treatable disease it can be treated with plasma exchange whereby the antibodies are physically removed from the body or it can be neutralized by iv ig that is intravenous immunoglobulin injection along with that supported treatment is given physiotherapy is given and if the respiratory muscles are involved we need ventilatory support all this is highly treatable case and the prognosis usually is good 98% people recover completely with no residual deficit few percentage of people do have some residual weakness it depends on the intensity of the disease involvement good thing is it is mainly a monophasic illness it's unlikely to repeat again but though in some people it can repeat again so the take home message is if you have weakness you should consult a neurologist at the early stage and if picked up it is highly treatable some people it is very mild you need not need even hospitalization okay otherwise observation for first 3 4 weeks is mandatory if it is gradually progressive thank you